Muslim travelers, although many people in Europe, such as Marco Polo and Vasco da Gama, are famous for traveling, you'll find that the Muslims have a very long history of travel throughout the world. One of the main inspirations for travel for Muslims is the Hajj or pilgrimage, which should be done once in a lifetime for those who are able to do so. And that was the inspiration for the 14th century Muslim traveler Ibn Battuta, who is one of the greatest Muslim travelers of all. He traveled across North Africa, the Middle East, India, the Far East, and many other places throughout his lifetime, covering a distance of about 40,000 miles. That's before the invention of the steam engine. Another example of a Muslim who traveled for pilgrimage was Ibn Jubair, who was from what is now Valencia in Spain. Again, he traveled along a very far distance across the Mediterranean. Others who traveled along the Mediterranean were Herod Din Barbarossa, who was one of the greatest admirals during the time of the Ot Ottoman Empire. He was the inspiration for the fictional character Hector Barbosa, and there were others as well, such as the English Jack Birdie, who raided ships in the Mediterranean and was a pirate. He later converted to Islam, and he was the inspiration for Captain Jack Sparrow. Both Captain Hector Barbosa and Captain Jack Sparrow were the main characters of the Pirates of the Caribbean series of movies, so you can see where the inspiration came from. When people go for the Hajj or pilgrimage, they travel from all over the world, such as West Africa, such as Mansa Musa in the 14th century. As he traveled along the, along the route for Hajj, he gave out gold. In fact, he gave out so much gold in Egypt that the value of gold dropped. Someone who did that in a smaller scale was Askia the Great. There are people who travel as well in other parts of the world, such as across the Sahara Desert, which is the largest desert in the world, such as the Tawarik. For further details on them, please watch my other video about the Tawarik. Muslims also travel for other reasons, but they are not always famous for travel, such as Malik ibn Dinar, who traveled to India, and the uncle of the Prophet peace upon him, called Saad ibn Abi Waqqas, who is buried in Guangzhou in China. There are others as well who travel for trade, such as traders who went from the Arab world, to Southeast Asia, including Malaysia, Indonesia, and Brunei. And there are others as well who had been to places such as Burma, and they now form one of the minority groups known as the Rohingya people in Burma. Muslim travelers were some of the first people to travel to certain parts of the world, such as Ibn Fadlan during the time of the Abbasids, who had been to Russia and wrote about his travels. He inspired the book Eaters of the Dead by Michael Crichton and also the movie The Thirteenth Warrior. In fact, Although Christopher Columbus is credited with being the first person to discover America, there are many others who had been to the Americas before him, including many Muslims, such as Mansa Abu Bakr II. It's thought that he had been to the Americas about 200 years before Christopher Columbus, and also Admiral Zheng He, who was one of the greatest admirals in China, and was also Muslim. It's thought that he had been to the Americas before Christopher Columbus, and traveled in many ships that were about 400 feet long, whereas Christopher Columbus had only three ships that were only about 40 feet long. Admiral Zheng He had also traveled elsewhere, such as in Africa or to Somalia, and had taken animals back to China with him. I'm sure you can find other examples, but I hope you found this interesting and insightful. Please like and share my video. Thank you.